aside from popcorn, I think that pretzel bites are one of the most popular movie snacks. And today I'm gonna make some soft pretzel bites that are not only delicious and easy to make at home, but also good for you. So I'm gonna start by making the dough and I'll show you how I made it. To make the dough, I started by adding the dry ingredients to a large mixing bowl, which includes two and two third cup oat flour, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda. I stirred everything together until it was combined, and then I added two cups of plain Greek yogurt. I mixed everything together until the mixture started to form into a dough. I placed the dough on a clean surface and continued to work the dough until it came together into a ball. All right, well my husband Sean, the greatest movie fan of all time, is here with me in the kitchen today. And we're gonna be celebrating a nice little movie night at home. Ooh. And so we're making our pretzel dough bites and these are so simple. The dough is already made, so we're just gonna be kind of finishing them off. And there's one simple step that brings out that crunchy texture on the outside and makes them chewy on the inside, which is what we all love about pretzel bites. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. But first, I'm gonna have you take the dough, we already okay. rolled it out, and just cut it with a knife, kind of like in long strips and then okay. in cubes. How, how thick, you think? So maybe just about a half of an inch. Okay. So just like you would think of a pretzel bite, however big or small, just try and make them uniform in size. And then when you're done, cutting those, then I will dip them into our water. We have eight cups of boiling water here, and we have a third cup of baking soda. So I'm gonna dump this baking soda in the water, and you wanna be careful, you wanna really underfill the pot because it will kind of bubble up a little bit, you'll see here. Wow. So once the water is brought to a boil, you can add your baking soda to the water. And so this baking soda water concoction here is what's gonna bring out the texture on the outside of the pretzel bites that make them crunchy and then soft on the inside. So Sean, sticky. those look great. And if it's too sticky, we have some extra oat flour. You can kind of sprinkle it on. Also make sure that the dough is cold. If it's cold, then it's gonna be easier to cut, kind of like cookie dough. Is that better? Yep. So I'm gonna take a slotted spoon, and you could use a bigger one so you can do multiple at a time, and I'm just gonna kind of dip them in just for about five to 10 seconds. You don't wanna dredge it in the water, you just wanna lightly dip it, and just enough to coat the pretzel bite. Then I'm gonna place each pretzel bite onto our parchment paper lined pan here. Okay, I think that's good. Any type of slotted spoon is great. You don't want them this, to be too wet. Are these ones too big? Nope, those are perfect. Okay. And then, Sean, I'm gonna have you take the egg wash, okay. which is just one egg that's been beaten, and kind of brush, brush the tops of just these. Just the tops? Just the ones that I've already dipped oh, okay. in the water here. Okay. Yep. And so what that egg wash is gonna do is it's gonna make the tops of these pretzel bites lightly golden brown. Just like that? And that looks perfect. Okay. And then I have some sesame seeds over there. And you can, after you do the egg wash, you can kind of use the sesame okay. seeds do to do all of them? kind of sprinkle them. Um, yeah, you can, but after I'm done, okay. Yep, kind of go, do them as I go. So, Sean, you are a huge movie fan, probably the biggest that I know. Yeah. So I got to ask you two important questions. Oh boy. First okay. of all, all of America wants to know what is your favorite movie? Oh gosh, favorite movie? I only get to pick one. Just one. Like, if you could only watch one movie for the rest of your life for all time, what would it be? Uh, that's a really hard question. I, I'd have to go with probably Castaway. <laughs> is that? So you're going with the True Island I'm theme a huge because Tom, I'm, a little, huge, I'm a huge Tom Hanks fan. It's the though. last movie you'll ever If it's watch. the last movie, I can I can relate to him the whole okay, time. Okay, that's so. true. That's a good point. It's a great movie. I know you're wondering what my favorite movie is. I think I might know it, but yeah, I want to hear it. Well, you already know I love Rachel McAdams yep, or any favorite. kind of romance film. Yeah. Any other any other girls out there understand where I'm coming from? So I would say probably Notebook because it's just a great love story, and I think I cry every single time. But um, yeah, any kind of romance film, and I, I also have to know since we're talking about favorite, what's your favorite movie snack? Oh, that's that's a tough one too. I always I have two. I always go between Bunch of Crunch or uh, Snow Caps. 
And I think mine would probably be the puppy chow that I made earlier that we'll be having in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna have you continue to just top these with sesame seeds until they're all coated. And you could use sesame seeds, you could use everything bagel seasoning, if you that sounds good to you. You could do cinnamon and sugar mixture. Ooh, nice. Anything that you would like on pretzels. So I'm gonna pop these into the oven, 425 degrees for 15 minutes, and they'll be golden brown and delicious.